red herring, like the fish, H-E-R-R-I-N-G. So red herring and a smokescreen, the last two. They're similar, but different. A red herring is a fallacy where you divert the attention and the topic while hiding the diversion. You divert the topic, hide the fact, and then bring in a new one. It's like what magicians do. We have something over here, and then all of a sudden, poop, and then now we got something over here, and you're like, oh, what happened? Uh, that's the same idea, but we do it with topics. Give you an example. Somebody says, you know, it's tragic that we have 1.5 million unborn children being murdered every year. Something needs to be done about this tragedy. And they're in a debate with somebody. And then the other person says, you know, it's tragic. What's tragic is that millions of children are dying in Africa every year from starvation. That's what we need to be focusing on, is what we can do about starving children. If that's your goal, then we should really work at bridging relationships with other countries. Politicians love this, because they can avoid their weak spots and focus on their strength. You see how we went from abortion to starving children and international relations by just using buzzwords, tragedy, children, and then all of a sudden now we're over here on international relations in Africa by just switching over, using the buzzwords, and now all of a sudden the person's going, well, no, wait, no, I don't think we should be doing that with Africa. And then all of a sudden now we're talking about Africa, and we avoided the difficult topic of abortion that the person didn't want to talk about because it was a weak spot. So here's how I remember it. A red herring is a stinky fish. So we're on the topic of whatever the topic is. So let's say you've escaped from prison and the bloodhounds are after you and you've got a red herring in your pocket and the bloodhounds are on topic. They're zeroed in on your scent. They know who you are and they're coming after you and you're running from the bloodhounds. And they're going, Burr. and you're running. Burr. And you go, I'm screwed. They're on top of me. They got my scent. They, they're on topic. And you go, just a second, my red herring. And you rub it across the ground, and you throw it in the bushes, and you take off running. And the dogs come up, burr, burr, and they hit the red herring, and they turn, and they follow into the bush. That's how the red herring works. The dogs think they're on the same trail, but they're not. They're now off on something else. You've diverted. You're free and safe, and they're now focusing on something else. Hopefully now, you will think about those stupid dogs and the person that escaped from prison every time you hear a red herring, and you remember how it works, right? I hope.